Hello and welcome on ETG TV for this special event, the Show Jumping Prospect Competition 2022, United States, California. We have the privilege to be in Indoor Arena today, offering a cool temperature and cover from the sun for today's competition. The arena is packed and everybody is excited to see our today's team and discover the seven riders that got qualified to show their youngster and their potential. The horses today have between 5 and 6 years old and they already started their show jumping careers. And they are here to show us their talent and abilities. As always, I'm lucky to have your favorite commentator, Paul Hammerson. Hello, Paul. How are you doing today? Hello, Donna. I'm very excited to discover the future of show jumping with today's competition. Yes, here are the list of the seven riders and horses that got qualified for today's competition who will represent the show jumping prospect of their countries. Seven riders that have their own homebred or new project horses that have the potential and the talent to go in Grand Prix and represent their country at the highest level in a few years. We also have a nice sponsor today and it's Green Stud Farm owned by Stephanie Green. More about them at the intermission. All right, let's discover our today's course with our first team. They are ready to go and it's Alra Green riding Legend Choice and they are representing Canada. They have been quite successful when they started competing this year. We wish them good luck. They are going for the first jump, an Oxer. Nice first jump and they have a good rhythm. Heading to the second jump, another Oxer. Good jump here too, they are looking nice and relaxed. Legend is the son of the well-known Legendborn and was bred by Alora, so she had him since day one. They seem to know each other very well. Heading to the third jump, a vertical. They're a bit fast. Let's see how the fourth go. Woo. It's mm. fast, but it's fast. Good job. Heading to the fifth jump, the triple bar. Well done. Taking the turn as an opportunity to breathe and prepare for the sixth jump, a vertical. Really good, really relaxed and nice. And now they are heading for the seventh jump, another triple bar. Beautiful. And a perfect changing lead while landing. Yeah, really well done. And Alara seems quite happy with her stallion so far. Going for the next line, jump eight and nine, a vertical followed by a roll top. Really well managed, and they're not losing any time on the ground. Mm -hmm. Heading to the 10th jump, a knockster. Good jump, and they're heading for the last line, two verticals. One, two, three. Wow! Mm, great job! Alara Green and Legend Choice have made quite an entry with a time of 1 minute 32.3. 12 seconds without any penalty. We saw some rushing during the lines, but they did a beautiful job and Alora was well in control. Yeah. The next rider is Melissa Mestar riding Mestar Underground and they are representing Germany. They had a shy start in competition, so we hope this run will go well for them. Nice start, pass rhythm. Melissa and her horse has a lot of energy. They're very forward. Yeah, and this little mare is a fall from Melissa Estate. Getting ready for the first line of the course. They went a bit close to the right standards, but it's cleared. Not losing any time on the ground. Nice job on the triple bar. They're also taking the opportunity to breathe during this turn. Mm -hmm. They are mid-course and it's going very well so far for this team and they are quite fast. No problem on the second triple bar and they're heading to the next line. Well managed. Heading for the 10th jump. Ah, uh, too bad for this refusal. I think Nuna got scared by the horns. Melissa is showing her that she got nothing to worry about. Yeah, beautiful horsemanship here. Not giving her horse a stressful experience. Pretty well done.
There you go. No problem at all. Alright, last line. One, two. Good. So Mr. and Mr. Underground have done the course in 1 minute 44.29 seconds with 4 points of penalty. They had a good rhythm, were pretty confident. Too bad for that refusal, but understandable for this young mare. Next rider entering the arena is Gaia Angelo Torino, riding one of the kind, and they're representing Italy. An unexpected match for the two of them. We wish them good luck. Nice start. They're looking great and comfortable, but losing time between the jumps? Heading for the third jump. That line was really well managed. The triple bar is passed. They are pretty fast. Really good and they have a fast time. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -mm. uh, it seemed they had a little bit of trouble deciding on when to start the jump. Mm. There we go. Heading for the next line. Beautiful jumps on this line. Big action with the hands, but it passed. Really nice, good job. Gaia Angela Torino and one of the kind have done the course in 1 minute 30.67 seconds with 4 points of penalties. They still have some things to figure out, but they are on the good path. Mm -hmm. Next team entering the arena is Nimra Ashwood riding Astral Legend HM and they are representing Canada. They just got qualified for that level, so we wish them good luck. He's also, he's also pretty tall. <laughs> yes. <gasps> good start. They are calm and collected, working towards every gem. Wow. The line was really well done. Yeah. Wow, got the big jump here. Well done. They are mid-course and doing very well for now. And they have pretty good time. Yeah. Beautiful jump. Right. One, two, three, four. Very good. Not many jumps left. Good jump. The last line. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. wow. Mm -hmm. Good job. Nirma Ashwood and Astral Legend HM did the course in 1 minute 29.01 second without any penalty, giving us the best time so far. They did very good. A very clean course. Yeah. Let's take the opportunity of this little intermission to talk about today's sponsor. It's Greenstead Farm owned by Stephanie Green. They have a various breeding program and have bred very talented and beautiful horses. So head over there to look at her beautiful foals, their training and their growth. A few of them are already quite popular, like Anastasia, Sansa and Holy Deep. So if you're searching for great falls, you know the address. I think our next rider is ready to go. All right, let's see it. The rider entering the arena is Tessa Brooks riding RCS Hidden Gold and they are representing Denmark. 
Hidden Gold was recently qualified for this event. We wish them good luck. Oof. No starting well, a refusal here at the first mm -hmm. jam. Mm -hmm. Come on, Hidden, you can do it, don't be shy. There we go. Yeah. Tessa is pushing her forward for the next jump. And it's a great jump, good job. This youngster was born at Tessa's estate and she's looking very good. A bit hot-blooded, but nothing Tessa cannot manage. Came a bit fast toward the third jump, but Tessa corrected it in the middle of the line. Good job. Mm -hmm. That is a great jump here too. They are mid-course and Hidden is looking eager to go. A bit too much, but Tessa has her under control. And good jump. The line was really well managed. Good job. Taking some energy out and getting some second on that canter line towards the thin jump. Really good. Look at the time. They're quite fast. Mm -hmm. Wow, good job on that last line. Tessa Brooks and RCS Hidden Ball did the course in 1 minute 29.85 seconds, but with 4 points of penalty. It's too bad for that refusal right at the start, because the rest of the course was great. With mm -hmm. some more experience, this mare could have a great chance to be in the big league when the time comes. Mm -hmm. Second to last team entering the arena is Elena Kaldin riding CW Darbon, and they're representing Switzerland. Darbin was bowed by Elena not a long time ago, so I'm very curious about how their training goes. Nice start. Nice jump. They are speeding up to save some seconds. line was nicely managed. Mm -hmm. Beautiful jump over the triple bar. Little encouragement for Darburn here. Mm. Nicely done. Going strong toward the second triple bar. Mm -hmm. Nicely done and they have a very good time. Going for the next line with a lot of energy. Beautiful, well managed. Slowing down a bit to secure the 10th jump. Really good and look at the time. One, two, three. Mm, wow! Very good. Wow, Elena Kaldin and CW Darbon did the course in 1 minute 27.33 seconds with no points of penalty, making this the best time so far. They did very well, very in control, and they definitely have their place in this competition. That's for sure. The last rider is entering the arena is Lola Rose riding Gold Moon Spaghetti, and they are representing France. A fall that is quite dear to Lola. Let's see how is their partnership. Nice start. They look focused and confident. Nice line, very collected. Chinjin Ling to be comfortable to go to the triple bar. Very good jump. They look a bit slower than Elena, but they're doing a very clean round. 
Nice jump, heading for the next line. One, two, three, four. Very good, nicely done. They're safe and steady. Gold has a pretty large stride, because they are not far behind Elena and Darwin. Only two jumps left. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, <laughs> well, well done. It's not between today's top time, but Lola Rose and Gold Moon Spaghetti did the course in 1 minute 29.56 seconds without any penalty, taking the third place on the leaderboard. It's a very clean round, really well ridden. Mm hmm. Here is the little bold with Elena Kaltin in first, Nirma Ashwood in second, Lola Rose in third, Alura Green in fourth, Tessa Brooks in fifth, Kay Angelo in sixth, and Melissa Mestar in seventh place. Congratulations to our winner and all the participants! Well, this marks the end of the event. Thank you so much to our participants that have been amazing. Thank you to our sponsor, Green Stud Farm, and the owner, Stephanie Green. Congratulations again to Elena Kaltin for her victory. Thank you so much, Paul, for being here. My pleasure. I'm very excited to see these horses evolving during their career and see them thrive. <laughs> Me too, it's quite exciting. Thank you so much to our beloved viewers to have been here for this event. We will see you all at the next event. Bye.